by and large, by the time a man is done with his fertility years, the prostate causes nothing but trouble. Uh, it enlarges, makes it difficult to urinate at times, and can turn cancerous like a lot of other organs in our body. Age is certainly a risk factor. As, as men age, um, many develop prostate cancer. In fact, they've done studies of 80-year-olds uh, that died of other causes. In those patients, they found 30 to 40 percent of them actually had prostate cancer. They died with prostate cancer, not from prostate cancer. Prostate cancer in its early stages is usually quite asymptomatic. That's why we recommend routine screening on a yearly basis starting at age 50. Um, age 40 if you have a family member with prostate cancer or if you're African American because the risks are a little higher in that group. Um, some signs you may see are blood in the urine, um, difficulty urinating, your urinary stream might slow down. Um, weight loss certainly is a, a sign of a more advanced cancer. Screening for prostate cancer actually is quite simple. It consists of a simple blood test called a PSA. That stands for prostate specific antigen and a digital rectal exam that's done by your doctor uh, in the office. Aggressive treatment may not be appropriate. We offer active surveillance. That consists of a blood test or PSA and a rectal exam at least every three months. If there is something nice about prostate cancer, it's that it's slow growing. For younger patients, we offer surgery or radiation therapy. Surgery is nice because it's a very definitive form of therapy. Uh, it's one and done, I like to call it. Patients come in for their surgery, they get their prostate removed, and then they move on from that and, and have to heal up from surgery. When we talk about radiation, that delivers external radiation beams to the prostate. That's delivered over 12 to 14 weeks, sometimes three to four times each week. So that treatment is more drawn out. So both surgery and radiation carry, this, carry similar risks, as well specifically risk of erection problems after surgery and or radiation and risks of leakage of urine. So not everybody that has prostate cancer needs to be treated. I think that's very important. I think some physicians miss that, that just because someone has a diagnosis of cancer doesn't mean it needs to be treated. We have that luxury as urologists because prostate cancer, again, is slow growing. But compared to other physicians, I like to take the whole patient into account and see where this diagnosis and treatment fits into, their, into who they are.